any foundation, I'm going to moisturize and prime her face. I'll provide a description of all the products and brushes I used in this tutorial down below. We're going to start by highlighting the face. To do this, you need to pick a foundation that is at least two or three shades lighter than your skin tone. I like to start by drawing inverted triangles underneath the eyes. I like to bring it up the side of the nose a little bit. This will help us with contouring our nose later on. And it should look something like this. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Next, you want to draw a straight line down the bridge of the nose and bring it up to the forehead. If you have a small forehead, you can apply more to this area. And invertedly, if you have a big forehead, you can apply less. Next, you wanna apply it to the chin. The same principle applies. If you have a big chin, you wanna apply less. If you have a small chin, you can apply more. Going around the nostrils is going to help diminish any redness in that area. It will look something like this. Bringing your lines closer to the hairline is going to help make the face appear more lifted. Highlighting is all about drawing light to areas of your face that you want to bring out. Now we're ready to contour. You want to choose a foundation that is about two or three shades darker than your skin color. Start by drawing a line around your forehead, down your hairline, across your jawline, bring it all the way to your chin, and in the hollows of your cheekbones. How far you bring this line down is really a matter of preference. You don't need to add this much detail to your chin. A simple line across will do just fine. Draw the same lines on the other side. Next, to contour your nose, draw a straight line down the side of your nose in between your highlighting. Don't forget to bring that down the tip of your nose. Bringing the line down underneath your brow bone is going to help mimic the natural shadows of your face. Repeat on the other side. Contouring does the opposite of highlighting. It brings shadows to the areas where you apply it, and that's what makes it appear smaller and more defined. I like to add a line across the tip of the nose. This gives it dimension, and it appears more natural when it's blended out. I know it's a little lopsided, and I'm sorry, I was trying to apply the makeup on an angle and not face forward so I wouldn't get in front of the camera, but that's okay. If it's not perfect, don't worry. Once you blend it, it's all going to come together. Next, using a foundation brush, I'm going to buff out the lighter foundation and I'm going to add more product as needed. Try and get as close as possible to your contour lines. Don't worry if it's not perfect. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the rest of the face. As you can see, I'm not using a different color for this part. I'm using the same color that we originally used to highlight. I like doing it this way because I find it really helps control the amount of product that goes on the face. You're not adding a second layer of foundation. Essentially, you're using the same amount of foundation as you normally would. In the end, that's going to help you achieve a much more natural finish. Once you're done this part, it will look something like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and blend the two colors together. We wanna to get that in-between color. I'm using the same foundation brush as before. I really slowed this clip down so that you could see how I blend. This is the trickiest part of this technique, so don't be frustrated if you don't get it at first. It is really helpful, I find, to work from the outside in and work in sections, as you're going to see. Okay, so next I'm going to take my Anastasia contour kit and using this color here, vanilla, I'm going to set underneath her eyes and all of the other areas where we highlighted in the beginning. Doing this step helps make your makeup last longer throughout the day. If you don't have the Anastasia contour kit, you can also use your favorite setting powder. Now I'm going to take this color right here called Java from the same contour kit and I'm going to set the dark parts. This is also going to give her a nice bronzed look in the end. Next, I'm using a smaller blending brush and using this color here, Fawn. I'm going to go underneath the hollows of the cheeks as well as in the jawline and along the hairline. 
I love this color because it doesn't have any red or warm undertones and so it really gives you a natural shadow once you're done. Using a small brush I'm going to do the same thing with the nose. You only need very little product. Layering the colors this way gives you great dimension and definition. Using your favorite highlighter you want to go down the bridge of the nose and blend it out. I also like to add it underneath the eyebrows, in the inner corners of the eyes, the cupid's bow, and along the cheekbones. Okay, so here's a progress shot. This looks a little odd in the after shot because we haven't added the rest of the makeup. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And that's all, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys.